Good evening. My name is Adam Bunting. I'm principal of CVU, and it is my honor to welcome the class of 2026 to our family orientation video. Our goal tonight is to give you a sense of what CVU is all about, and most importantly, to give you the feeling of how excited we are to get started with you next fall. You're going to get to meet some of your core teachers tonight. You're going to get to see some of our students, and most importantly, you're going to get the feel of what this place is all about. Thanks so much and enjoy the program. Good evening, everyone. My name is Jack Averill, and I am a co-student body president at CVU. If you told me freshman year that I'd be co-president with someone I didn't really know and saying hello to everyone in the halls, I would have laughed. That's because my biggest fear entering CVU was the fact that I didn't know anybody from outside my middle school. Well, my friends seemed to know everybody. However, within two weeks, I knew nearly everyone on Chittenden and had found my group of friends. The Corps do a great job of acclimating new students into this environment and helping them wherever needed. Every teacher at CVU can be your friend, and I recommend connecting with them as much as possible. Enjoy your final months of middle school, and good luck next year. And now, thanks for joining tonight's broadcast. You'll hear from students and teachers, and we'll join students on a virtual tour of CVU. We hope you enjoy the show. Hello, incoming ninth graders. My name is Aiden. Today, I and a couple of other student council members will be showing you around CVU. These places you'll frequent quite, uh, quite often. And today, we'll be showing you the learning center, the cafeteria, uh, the direction center, and a couple of other amazing places. So today, we welcome you to the tour. Hi, my name is Mira. Right now, we're in the main lobby. The front door is where people who park in the senior lot and people who get dropped off enter from and the back door is where people who go on the buses enter. This is the main lobby where you can find Jackie and Adam's office and the activities director. Here in the Direction Center, you can find many of the amazing adults that make up CVU. The Direction Center houses all of our house counselors who will help you with little things like scheduling your classes onto bigger things like helping you get into college. In the Direction Center, we also have Susie Mokley in charge of flexible pathways. If you're interested in going to one of our two amazing tech programs, she's the person you want to talk to. Also in the Direction Center, we have people like Matt Meunier and Vanessa Harmon who will help you with problems you're facing inside and outside of CVU to help you be the healthiest and happiest student you can be. I'm Sophia, and right through Four Corners, you'll find the library, where you can find our librarians, Peter Langella, Christina Dealey, and Olivia Gaddy. They're amazing resources for all things literary and media related. Also in the library, you'll find thousands of books and quiet space to get work done during the free block. We also have the IT room and the learning center. Hello, incoming ninth graders. Also in the library is the Learning Center, where it houses some of the most amazing full-time tutors which can help you with your classes and your homework. Most students don't take advantage of this amazing resource, and we also have some of the most amazing people as well. He's the amazing one, and I'm Ron. And I'm Jake, and we are willing to help you with any subject. Whether it's pre-algebra through an AP calculus, whether you're still trying to learn the difference between an article and an adverb, or writing your essay to get into Harvard, we're here for you. All students, all subjects, all levels of ability. Here's the beauty of the Learning Center. The work that gets assigned to you in your classroom, you bring it here. When you go home, it's no longer homework, it's done work. And if you get stuck, we can help you get through it. cafeteria. This is a perfect place if you're hungry for breakfast, lunch, or a snack. There's also a coffee bar and an ice cream cooler. There are so many food options, so no matter what your preferences are, there is something for you. 
There are plenty of spaces to sit in the cafeteria, but also outside and in the main lobby. If you have any questions or concerns, you can visit the cafeteria website. Welcome to our tour of the course. Back there is the lockers where you're going to put all of your possessions when you're not in class. To my left are the four classrooms, humanities, health, science, and math. You will spend the majority of your time in these classes. Right here is the fishbowl. This is where the teachers are going to spend all of their time when they're not teaching a class or helping a student. Up in front is the house main office where you will find the administrative assistant. Here you can come for help if you need anything other than what the teachers can provide. Thanks for coming on our tour. Now let's hear some words from the teachers. Hey all, my name is Russ Aceto. I am the Fairbanks House Counselor. I work very closely with the Fairbanks core team of teachers, work very closely with my ninth grade students. I will follow my ninth grade students throughout their high school experience, and each house counselor does the same. One weird fact about myself is my daughter and I share a collection of 40 plus tarantulas and other arachnids. Hola, bonjour, salwete, hello. My name is Leanne Morton, and I'm representing the World Language Department. CBU proudly boasts three languages, French, Spanish, and Latin. All three of those languages are available to your students to take for four years, all the way through the fifth level. CBU's World Language Department works on developing the skills of reading, writing, speaking, and listening in the target language. Our goal is to create students who appreciate different perspectives, culture, and language. We're working to create global citizens here at CBU. We have historically worked with students to get them to have an appreciation for the language. This has been done through media, literature, travel, and bringing in native speakers as often as possible. We've also had the opportunity to travel around the world. CBU has gone to Montreal, Quebec, France, the Dominican Republic, and Italy. And like all of you, we're looking for those travel opportunities to happen again soon when our world is safe. CBU teachers are available on the website if you have questions about what our program offers and what levels your students should be placed in. The middle school teachers will also work with your students, placing them appropriately. CBU students, as they enter CBU, are encouraged to continue the language that they were taking in the middle school but there's also the opportunity to add a language. The core program and our essential arts and the World Language Department offer the opportunities for students to take everything. So we look forward to working with your students this fall and we hope that they continue studying a world language. Thank you. Hello ninth graders, my name is Jess. I'm a wellness teacher in the Snelling Corps. Wellness is made up of two separate courses, the first being Project Adventure where we take to the gym and the low ropes course and work on cooperative games and initiatives, team building activities, um, and fun games just to get to know each other and break the ice a little bit. Personal health is the second course. And in personal health, uh, it's a comprehensive health class where we cover topics like sex ed, mental health. Uh, we're gonna learn about um, alcohol and other drugs and how they affect the body. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be an opportunity where we can really have some great conversations with each other. Um, a fun fact about me is before I moved back to Vermont, I lived in the Caribbean for five years. Hi, my name is Hannah Carey and I am the math teacher in the Snelling Corps. In all of the cores, there are two math offerings, Math One and Math Two, both of which have an integrated curriculum involving algebra and geometry. This allows students to make some really good connections between those two ideas instead of having two separate classes about them. This allows us to get more practice in algebra as well as involve some more relevancy with the geometry concepts. This will allow your students to be really successful in the following years. In addition to math, I also love working with my five other teachers in the core. 
it gives us this really great opportunity to get to know your students so well because we see them from various perspectives. The connections we get to make with them are really strong. And so by the time they leave, which is always a sad day, they're going to be really successful with their next three years here at CBU. I also lastly love spreadsheets because spreadsheets are so practical and useful. And I think that everybody should learn how to do those. Hi. I'm Katie Antos Ketchum, and I'm one of the humanities teachers in the Fairbanks Corps. Hi, I'm Garrett McCurtain, and I'm one of the humanities teachers um, in the Nichols Corps, and I go by Garrett. And humanities is a co-taught class, um, English and Social Studies, and there's four different teams here at CVU, and we pretty much all look at the world with the same perspective. Um, it is really a focus on the global world and how people interact with one another. And we really focus on the essential skills of communication, which really is critical reading, uh, writing, and public speaking. So Garrett mentioned that we focus a lot on skills, and the way we do that is by teaching content. So it doesn't matter what core you're in, we will have units for you where we'll learn about the government, world religions, and we also will read literature and talk about identity. We'll study some human rights issues, we'll also uh, build our media literacy skills, and we all have a unit called the Human Impact Project, too, which allows students to pick a topic, a problem in the world, could be local, national, or global, that they really care about. They'll learn about it and eventually take action on it, too, because we believe one person really can make a difference. All right, Garrett, that's enough about humanities. What's your favorite thing about teaching at CBU and working with students? Well, besides working in the classroom, my favorite thing is international travel. And I've taken kids to Europe, I've taken kids to China. I just love exposing the world to students at all those different levels. And Katie, what would you say? Uh, well, I do really like teaching and being in the classroom mm -hmm. with students and being in a core. It's a lot like a family. But I also am the advisor for the Environmental Action Club, and that's been really fun, too. Hi, I'm Greg Conk. I'm a core special educator here in the ninth grade Fairbanks core. Um, we have a very inclusive model here, which means that we see students in all the classes. Uh, we do co-planning with teachers and we coordinate services that are delivered by a special educator in and out of class, depending on the student's needs. We uh, work very closely with the, te the teachers. We all have a common planning time, which allows for differentiation and uh, access for us to implement accommodations. We case manage students on IEPs and 504s, and we are a, an important part of the EST team uh, as we help make accommodations for students on all sorts of plans. Uh, but really, we're a full member of the core team and we work together to implement and support students in, in all environments with all of their different learning needs. Uh, some things I really enjoy about the core program are the first couple weeks within the ninth grade year where we really get to know the students and put them at ease in this family environment. Hi, I'm Andrea Bemke, the science teacher in Chittenden Corps. I'm here to tell you a little bit about the Integrated Environmental Science Program. It really focuses on the environment and human activity on the environment, but the integrated part really looks at the blending between earth science, biology, chemistry, and physics, which is great because you'll leave science having a taste of all the sciences. We do focus very heavily on hands-on activities and skills that scientists use every day. The great thing about teaching in the core is that I get to be a part of your introduction to the CVU community. And that is something that we really focus on in Chittenden Core and in all the cores, is being part of a community and knowing that you have a group of teachers here to support you as you begin your high school career. Hi, I'm Mr. Brownell, and I'm the chorus teacher here at CVU. And we, the arts faculty, want to invite all of you to join our community of artists next year as ninth graders here at CVU. It's been a tough year for all of us, but the friendships that have grown out of our arts classrooms have made all the difference in the lives of our students. And next year, you have the opportunity to take two credits of arts electives. 
That's up to four semester-long classes, including chorus, concert band, visual arts, theater arts, media education, business, design and engineering technology, and family and consumer science. Now, some students choose to take one elective as a world language or a free block, but this is not required. And remember, with each year in high school, you have more and more opportunities for electives. So it's important as a freshman to get a head start in the arts. So next year, choose to make memories, make friends, and join the arts family here at CVU. Isabella and I'm a senior here at CVU. When I was in ninth grade, I was in Nichols Corps. A question that we get asked a lot is how is the workload in ninth grade different than it was in eighth grade? And while the workload in ninth grade might be a little bit more, I don't think it's ever going to be unmanageable for you. If you ever feel like you're struggling in class, teachers in the Corps are always available to talk or you can head down to the Learning Center and ask Ron or one of the other tutors and they'll get you the help that you need. There are so many awesome clubs at CVU, it's super hard to pick just one or two to talk about. I'm a part of the Creating a Stronger Community Club and Future Business Leaders of America. I would highly recommend joining these clubs if you are interested in meeting new people and being a part of the larger CVU community. If you are interested in joining a club, make sure to email the club advisor to find out when that club meets. My name is Nisha Hickok and I'm a 10th grader at CVU. I was also a student in Snelling. Today, I'm going to be talking about whether you will be in classes with other grades and houses. In ninth grade, most of your time is spent in the core, but elective classes are a great time to be with other houses and students from other grades. You will also be placed in an advisory with two to four students from each grade. I hope this helped and I can't wait to meet you next year. So what are advisories at CVU and what do they do? Advisories are assigned to each student when coming into CVU. Each advisory has one advisor, which is a faculty or staff from the school, and they are with you for all four years. Advisories are a safe space for students. Advisories do the fun stuff. For example, in my advisory, for every one of the students' birthdays in my advisory, we read a kid's book. It's a lot of fun. I love advisory because it is an awesome, vibrant place that helps support me through my everyday school life. A lot of students ask, what are lunches like at CVU? Lunch happens during your third block class and two cores go down at the same time, so you'll have the opportunity to meet a lot of other ninth graders outside of your core. Vegetarian and vegan options are always available in the cafeteria and on Mondays we go meatless, so the specials are vegetarian as well. If you're not interested in the specials offered on a particular day, there are prepackaged meals in the fridges in the cafeteria with salads, wraps, or other sandwiches. Now the burrito bar is a very popular option with CVU students and my personal favorite lunch. But a lot of CVU students love the burrito bar, so if you're interested in getting a burrito, I recommend getting to the cafeteria quickly. While lunch at CVU can be a little overwhelming at first, you will get into the routine of it, and then you have the, you'll be able to enjoy all the wonderful options Leo and the cafeteria staff prepare for us. Hello everyone, my name is Oliver Pudvar, and I'm the co-student body president at CVU. Fun fact, I actually single-handedly got Jack Averill into the University of Pennsylvania by asking him to run for the presidency. Not actually, but I like to believe I did. Hopefully, all of your questions you had coming into the 8th grade parent night have been answered. But if they haven't, please do not hesitate to email Katherine Riley at kreilly at cvsdvt.org. Thank you everyone for tuning in and have a good day, night, month, and year. We really hope you enjoyed our program tonight. Whether you're feeling excited at the beginning or whether you're a little bit nervous, there's one message I want you to take away. And that is, we're here for you. You can come in anytime you want, we'll give you a tour, we'll introduce you to people, and we're just so excited to begin learning with you in the fall of 2022. And remember, take care of yourself, take care of each other, and take care of the place. Thanks so much.